Hey, today I'm going to show you on how to fetch your UD ID in order to take the iCloud lock uh, off of your iPhone or um, iPad or iPod device. So uh, this here is a iPhone 6, 16 gig uh, locks to Fido and the iCloud lock is on. So, um, oops, I changed the language there. What we need to do is we need to connect this to our computer and I'm going to show you exactly on how that's done. Uh, in order to get the IMEI, however, you just turn the phone on. In the bottom right, you see this uh, blue eye info icon. Click that, and it'll give you IMEI. However, in order to get the UDID, we need to connect it to a PC or Mac. And this is one method on how we're going to do that. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to connect the USB to my computer and plug this side into my computer and uh, you'll see iTunes open up uh, but we're not going to need iTunes right now I'm going to close this where I'm going to go is the uh, start menu I'm going to find where it says computer I'm going to right click on that and choose manage once we choose that we'll find this computer management window on the left panel we have a frame and at the bottom of the first group we have a device manager. We'll click once on that. On the right pane we'll open the device manager options. I'm going to minimize these groups here because those are, are what we're looking for. We're looking for the bottom one which is universal serial bus controllers. We're going to expand this one and the first one is going to be our Apple device that we've connected. Keep in mind if we have more than one Apple device connected it'll show more than one. So I'm going to right click on this and I'm going to properties. Then I'll go over to Details tab in the Properties window. I'm going to choose Device um, Instance, was it? Uh, I'll know when I see it. Device Instance Path, that's what it is. So on the drop down menu, choose Device Instance Path. And over here we have our UDID. The whole thing isn't the UDID, just after the last backslash, the 40 characters after that is the UDID. So I'm going to copy that and I'm going to open a notepad window. I'm going to paste that in here and now we have our UDID with some extra code at the beginning. So I'm going to highlight this USB all the way up to the first forward slash and I'm going to erase that. The remaining 40 characters is your UDID. Make sure there's 40 characters. Once you have that you can hop on over to uh, our website Sky Mobile Unlock and click on the iCloud unlock button or simply go to the unlock menu and choose from there now the first step in order to get the iCloud removed is to get the iCloud ID uh, this costs forty two dollars currently uh, the, today's date is August 4th 2016 now what I'm gonna need to do is I'm going to go back to my notepad and I'm gonna copy this UDID I'm going to paste it. Keep in mind I, I would verify that it's 40 characters and I would double check just to make sure I have everything right. And then the next step would be to enter the IMEI. On an iPhone 6, uh, as I showed you, you can hit it with the um, with that button, uh, with the information button, and you'll get this screen. So here I'm going to enter the IMEI. It's 356-987-068-752-060. That's 15 digits exactly for the IMEI. Okay, great. So that's it. We have that input in there. And uh, the next step is to add to cart. And uh, your information will show up here, UDID and IMEI. And once you're ready, you can simply check out. This process does take three to eight business days. Uh, so please be patient. If you're in a rush to get your iCloud ID removed fast, there is another service. Uh, it is more expensive, however, it's done uh, usually within three days. All we need is your IMEI. Uh, it's not necessary to fetch the UDID for this instance. So that's it. Uh, please click on the link in the description below uh, to get to um, Sky Mobile Unlock. And if you have any questions, leave it in the comments section below. Um, I'm just getting my YouTube channel started, so uh, 
there's not much content to begin with, but as time goes on, there will be. So maybe it's a good idea to hit the subscribe button. And of course, if this has helped you out in any way, please hit the like button. Thanks very much for watching, and have a good day.